What are we doing now? Well, we're watching an engine run. This is what I do, trains. I don't do machines. I do machines to make trains. This is a 283 Pacific. It's been tuned up a little bit. You see it's got um, America Flyer smoke, but it's got a different lid. It has a, uh, a red PC board lid from Frankenstein Lab. It's called Smart Smoke. It has a thermistor down in there reading the temperature so it doesn't overheat or underheat. And it will produce the proper amount of heat. I'm still adjusting it a little bit. I probably need to take it apart and make sure I know what's inside. I built these some time ago and I forget what's in there. Um, I got a PC board here for sound. Gives us chuff when we're rolling. I have a digital reverse. Now we're going forward. And I have um, a DC converted motor. These are magnets inside. Permanent magnets instead of wire round. So this motor runs cooler and has more power. And then we have a power conditioner, uh, power distribution board and conditioner. These are rectifiers taking the AC to DC, passing it out. A nine volt regulator for the smoke, soundboard, and a five volt regulator for my fan. My fan is supposed to keep everything cool, but my fan is overheating and not working. So I'm gonna have to get it, maybe get another one. Um, it's a really cool fan though. It bolts right onto this plate. And there's a opening right there. You see it? Let's see my finger in behind it. And it's a blower fan. So it will blow the air down and away. Suck it out of the this device is over here and push it down out. And when it's in place, it just looks like part of the train. You don't even know it's there. This all slides in like that. I I have these removable panels. I hadn't thought much about it, but now that I've used it already, hey, this is great. Uh, I was able to make adjustments uh, while it was running uh, <laughs> with the chassis on. That's pretty handy. Um, I may keep them exactly this way for that reason. The other panel's over here. So I don't have the lid built yet, but I'm working on it. The smoke's a little, 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 little thin, I agree, but we're going to work through it. And we'll, we'll get it tuned up. This is a brand new assembly. You might recognize it. It's a little different from the, the last assembly, uh, which was red. And it's running the 310. The 310 is still running, by the way. Everything is fine. Uh, its smoke has been removed. I'm you, I only have one smoke, uh, one fan from testing, so it'll come back. Or I'll find one and put it back. Uh, this is too big. Got to shrink it down. That's gonna get, that's gonna get repurposed. This is actually uh, 283. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, um, but it was to verify that I had the dimensions and the wiring and everything right. So if I can build, uh, this is my third one that I built this way. So I'm pretty confident I got the process down, um, and I'm gonna be uh, building more engines like this quite a bit once I get the big boy over here cranked up we'll be able to modify these old chassis, right? You see this? You can't put the, there's no gear, there's no gear on here to do anything with. And so I'm gonna have to put a groove in there to get a gear. And that's the purpose of this whole exercise over here. And I'm printing a new piece and I've got bearings on the way, uh, ball bearings, by the way. Jack it up a little bit. I also need some clamps. I got this clamp vise here, I may try it. Um, and I got some other things that I need to work through on um, the best way to operate this thing. I'm still doing the design. I'm trying to do it through Fusion 360 and then import it over. Uh, not worried, there's multiple ways to get it done, so I'll be fine. Wanted to get this guy running, didn't take that long. Had to do some wiring, um, do a little testing, boom, we're off. So. Nice and smooth, lots of power. I uh, should be able to put that on the test track and in, in just a, in a few days and 
check it out uh, with all the sides on it. I'm going to work on the top, and then we'll. Uh, oh, and I got to come up with a new baffle for that speaker. I think I'm going to be okay with that too. I got lots of capabilities to do that. And I want to tear into the smoke, make sure I know what's on that wicket. I got some new wicket stuff that I've been working on, so I may want to make some adjustments to that or build a new board. I went and got a new board just in case. Uh, so that's what we're at. 283 um, Next Gen S Tender. All wheel pickup. All wheel pickup with the smoke sensor. This is the newest and greatest, and it's beautiful, isn't it? It is really nice, really clean, and um, I think it's going to be a, a I think it's going to be awesome, awesome uh, assembly for us. As far as tender stuff, I think our tender situation for next gen is under control. I'm negotiating for more soundboards. I only have three. I'm trying to get some more. Uh, they don't make them anymore, so we're really under the gun here. And uh, I do have a backup. I'm still working on sensor input. I got the chuff input, but there is a horn and a and a bell, and I want to see a steam whistle. I mean, and I want to see how I can do those remotely if I can. If not, I'll have to finagle something. Anyway, so that's it. That's the 283. Actually, <laughs> it's a 287 from 54. So it'll it'll be a nice long steam engine. And it'll have a nice long tender behind it, and it will have puff and chuff and lights and sounds and uh, all kinds of good stuff. So that's in the wind. As soon as I'm wrapped up with this, I'm going to start on that lid. Meanwhile, I'm printing parts for this, and when that's done, I'm going to be printing another one of these in red, uh, black bottom, red guts, and that. Then will be uh, Leon's Royal Blue. Uh, I swear to God, Leon, this is it. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to stick to it. Stick to my plan. This the other engine is three tens done. This one is virtually done. I need a couple new fans. I'll probably get five of them. They're not expensive. They're only five volts. They work so well too. And I, um, I need to see a blower fan. Anyway, that and uh, what else? Oh, this off and on with this guy. I know it works. That's the beauty of it. I, I'm confident this is going to happen. I just have to fine tune the things that I want, build my clamps, get that thing set in, run through some tests with the program so that it will go to a point and start and do everything exactly the same every time. Bingo, we'll be making those. And I got a um, exhaust fan set up that I'm going to be adding to that shortly so I can get all the all the stuff out of here i don't want to choke to death on this thing okay that's what i'm up to today i guess um i did finish a set of those rollers that i showed you the other day for the lionel o gauge someone bugged me about why did that lionel have an america flyer uh, link coupler on it smart smart guy no that was actually a pre-war american flyer <laughs> okay i just I just needed a O gauge with a center pickup that did something, either an engine or an action car, to prove to myself and the customer and the, and the reseller that the um, the O uh, rolling road powered work, and they do. So I'm done with that for now. Now I'm working on this, and then I'll get back on the uh, carnage over here, a little carnage over here. It's all going to get cleaned up. I'm going to get back onto this. I'm going to build this lid. It's going to look like this, but i got to have it removable. I know. I have to think about that. I don't really want screws on top, which would be nice, maybe convenient, but I don't think we want to do that. So I can set them down into the pins, I suppose. But uh, I also wanted to have the lighting, you know, on that. Um, but I can't put the lighting and then still have all these panels just slip out if I want to do that. I thought I was just going to glue it all together, but now that I see pulling that panel out is so convenient. At least the side, well, the end one because it's got a fan if you need to replace it, and the side ones because those where you can do some adjustments without taking the thing apart. That's pretty neat from a user point of view. Of course, I'm a tinkerer. I'm not, you know, running for 
14 hours at high speed till the fields melt. Oh God. All right, all right, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go do something. Thought I'd share with uh, the gang my other interest in life, trains. Later.